Hi everyone and welcome back to Dora Kitty. Now, if any of you are paranoid about the poor performance we're getting with uh, Flight Gear on Intel graphics, guess what? I get a new computer. And this one is a, is a lot more powerful than the last one. I believe this one is like 25% uh, more powerful or something. But it should be a pretty cheap computer for its size. And it's running at a solid 25 FPS this whole time. And in fact, I'm running the AOS shaders here and it had it budged a little. <clears throat> but if you check my rendering options, I'm still on minimal. It's basically bare bones. But yeah, at least it actually ran fine, which is a good thing. Now, if you tap back and let's go for a quick flight in the Cessna. Now you can see that there's a lot of quantization errors here, which really annoyed the heck out of me. But that's the price you gotta pay, I guess, for playing with a sheet computer. Now the cool thing about this computer is that it actually has a dedicated page up, page down buttons, which you can be annoying other programs. In Flight Gear, it's conveniently placed next to the arrow key, so you can easily fly the plane. Right, we're after 55, we pull up. And climb, climb is working. We're going to I, go up to about a 100 feet maybe before we center the controls to make sure it actually works properly because we manipulated the rudder on the way up. So quickly hit five and then stabilize. If you're good enough, that shouldn't impact your flight very much. Let's turn off the menu bar for a while. All right, we're stable and in the air. <laughs> Seriously, getting from a initial position into a stable position like this is probably one of the hardest parts of flying. And you can actually, I am I deviating from runway here? Hit shift arrow to turn around if you wish. And we're going to climb towards the threshold. A we use a pattern altitude of I think a thousand feet today, I believe. Maybe two thousand. <laughs> I don't know. Let's let's keep it at a thousand, and immediately we're leveling off after this. And then start a turn. We're going to be looking at the terminal, to just where we are. But I think I'm going to more be looking at the gyro compass, even though it's you do a whiskey one for this kind of sh thing. All right, down, down, down. Now I'm, I'm flying with the mouse here. I don't have access to my joystick. Alright, we're nearly on base, and I'm trying to trim the thing, fly straight, and we should dial down the throttle a little bit, we're going down a yellow off of this. Right, that looks good, actually. Now we're going to turn over before we hit the mountain, because those mountains are certainly in the way, especially at something like a thousand feet, this is very really roll to the ground right here. So let's turn over, and yeah, we're going to follow the road on the right of the airport, I believe. So let's turn over. Make sure your altitude is still fine. And we're good. A little climbing, but good. Let's push down a little where you can sense speed and the trees. <laughs> we're over the trees here. That's scary. Right, let's pull up the descent. Except it's setting to dawn, <laughs> so I can more or less uh, show the graphics capability of, uh, of like you're running at a solid like 19 FPS. Which is a little low. Let's climb a little bit, and the speed shows us a little low too. We can afford to lose some speed in this. Right, so we're going to do a little bit of jumping until we. Can the end of the runway, I guess. A little off. Let's turn a little. Now I'm going to use the 90 degree rule that some nice person have made for me. For us as a flight simulation community. And <coughs> you can see, okay, so this is how flying is supposed to be done. If you see the uh, TBH GTFG5 speedrun, Okay, so when you're flying a plane, you're basically barreling down a highway at 70 miles per hour, maybe. So you really want to 
do this, even like you're driving down a highway, you wouldn't want to do this like you were driving on a back road. Like, if you do a lot of hard turns for this, you're surely going to get in a little bit of trouble. You have to keep the controls like a s input small, discreet, but per but precise. Like tracking down a highway at 70 miles per hour. That's how it's supposed to be done. And that will st start slowing down. And small descent. And a turn. We're going to be going to that harbor. Why is the trim a little bad in this one? <coughs> Wait, we need to slow down beyond the low of 100 knots to do this. Down, down a little more, down a little more. With that, with the heading. Like, flaps one. Let's increase the power a little bit because that will also change a bunch of things while aer aerodynamics. Let's turn over and check the runway. We're a little, we're way low with this. Let's increase power. I'm not need to make this. Start turning it. Pretty sure this is about right. No, <laughs> whoops, oopsie. Okay, this is what happens if you try to treat it as a back road car. Turn over. I really want to see the runway we're turning onto. Right, slow down a little bit. We have a little more distance to go, and we have a lot of altitude to lose, and a lot of speed to lose too. Looks like just about the right amount. And we're really coming in hot here. We're really hot here. Oops, overshot that runway. We can still make the other one, I believe. But nah, <laughs> we're turning back over. The speed, uh, yeah, that speed doesn't look good. Tune it up a little bit. Laps too because we seriously need it right now. And a little bit of speed upping. This is seriously not how it's supposed to be done. Really high. We're not going to be used flaps free in this, I can tell. We're not going to use flaps free to do this. Okay, so we're on glide slope, a little bit on the throttle. And hey, we actually merge back onto the runway like fine as hell beats. Oh, that's a little high. Wow, that was wind wobbly real quick. I really need to brush up on this. Oh, otherwise it's a crosswind or something. Otherwise, yeah, this looks really good, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're a little low. We can't afford going low. We're already this low already. So let's do a little bit of a bleed off. The tracking is whoa, wait, no, no, don't go that high. Right. Now, wait, wait, wait. Are we touching down? We have touched down. Flaps up, and let's track onto the runway here. Throttle all the way down, and we're safe. Alright, <laughs> so that was a quick flight on in Intel HD graphics. That went so smooth. I can't even tell I'm on Intel. It, it wouldn't work for the shaders. Like, this is so cool, people. It, even with the whole AOS framework turned on, the C172P, like, uh, has a lot of effects turned on in the EOS framework, which might slow down some of the computers, but hey, it looks f really good in, up here. Let's take a look at the replay real quick. I really want to see the landing. And also, if you want, you really want to see it, this is the map, and you can see the serious diversion I made there. Here we go. I literally flared at the last second and the nose was a little low. <laughs> but hey, that's good. And it looks really good, actually. 
<laughs> I mean, that was so risky. All right, so uh, thanks for watching, Dora Kitty, and we'll see you again next time. Have a nice flight.